We've given our batter the five minute rest time. Now we're going to load the hopper and make donuts. Now press the prime button for a couple of turns. The first deposits can be added back to the hopper. Swing the hopper over the lip of the fryer. Attach the connecting rod. Turn it on and you're making donuts. Set your fry time dial according to how large your donuts will be. For smaller donuts, maybe 95 seconds. Larger donuts, maybe 130 seconds. Some mixes fry faster than others, so there's a little trial and error at first. To go from two donuts per pocket down to one donut per pocket, just flick this switch to feed table. When you start getting low on batter, scrape your hopper and scrape the batter towards the center of the hopper. This way you'll get as much batter as possible. For mini donuts, it's exactly the same as regular donuts, but you use a mini donut hopper and plunger. Your mix is identical. Sometimes a little bit more water in the mix helps for minis but you give it the same 5-10 minute rest time. Prime for several cuts. Swing the depositor over the lip of the fryer. Attach the connecting rod and turn it on. Don't forget to turn on the roto cooler. This is the standard donut robot Mark II with a mini donut depositor. If you have a GP model, you'll be making mini donuts only. The gaps between your flight bars are narrower.